Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Joji and I do makeup tutorials and makeup reviews here. So if you wanted to see more of my future videos, make sure that you are subscribed. And in today's video, I wanted to show you guys a few shades of a lipstick from Dior. So I have the Rouge Dior right here that I think that you should have or definitely try if you don't have it yet. So today we are going to try them and give you some swatches as well so that you guys can compare it wearing it and just swatching it. So if you are interested to see what I got for you guys, then just keep on watching. So the first shade that I have for you guys is number 100. This is the shade called Nude Look. So you definitely should have this because it's one of the popular shade that you should try and it's just a good lipstick for every day. You can just put a little bit of lip liner if you want. So I'm going to give you a demonstration right now and a swatch right after. So let me just clean my lips. This is just a the maximizer. This one is the cherry. So Dior lip maximizer. So there you go. I don't have anything on my lips. And now let's try the nude look. So this is how it looks like. It is a matte finish. It also comes with a high shine lipstick. It comes with a satin finish as well. So if you don't like a matte, they definitely have it in a different formula. So let's try this. Okay, so that is the lip application as you see. I normally don't put a lip liner on my lips because I do have like a dark lip line already. So most of the time I don't find it necessary for me. But if you will to add a lip liner, there's a lot of like lip liners out there that would go with this one. But you see what I mean? Like this is something that you should have because it's just so gorgeous with, especially with like a dramatic eyes. Um, it just goes really well. It plumps your lips, although it's not 100% dry matte, it, gi it gives you this like creamy kind of finish or look and I love that because I'm not a big fan of really really dry matte because I feel like it does look like it drying my lips, especially if you have that issue. So this one is a really good one. Again, it's a nude look. Then I'm going to give you a swatch and that is how it looks like beautiful beautiful shade let's jump into my next shade for you guys next shade is called cherry and this is a metallic finish i love this one because it's not super pink let me show you what i mean <laughs> it's not super pink i love also because it has a little bit of that shimmer into the lipstick so it's not so flat when you wear it and let me try So that's how it looks like on the lips wearing so you can see it's just a beautiful kind of a pinky a little bit of red in it but it's not too red as well it's a really good color for like every day or if you are looking for like a spring color this is really nice and like again I said it's not a flat finish so it has a little bit of this metallic in it but it's very fine so it's not super like chunky one as well so let's give you the swatch beside Nude look, and that's how they look like. See, it's really, really pretty, and that's the lip again. It's really comfortable too. I really, really like this shade. Okay, right into the next shade. Next shade that I have here is called Selage, and this is a satin finish. I love this one wearing for summer because it is such a warm color and it has this like orangey brown but there's no pink in it so it's a pure kind of really warm lipstick color so let me try all right here's the look of the sellage so you see what i mean it's just this like orangey brown sort of tangerine color so if you're looking for like this kind of pure color and you really want it to look like this in the summer this is something that you should consider it's so beautiful i love it on my lips it doesn't change and it is a satin finish so it's very comfortable it's not a it's not matte so if you're looking for that kind of finish as well this is a really good one now i'm gonna give you the swatch right beside cherry you know why i swatch this because i'm wearing a long sleeve and I don't want to mess it up so that's how it looks like so it's pretty um, the same on my lips too so you can see right together it's a beautiful shade I really like this like I said 
my summer favorite lipstick shade. Love that. All right, let's go into the next shade. Let me clean my lips. I'll be right back. The next shade I have here is called Grand Ball, and this is a matte finish. It is closer to Selage, but this one just has a little bit of pink in it. Um, I'm going to show you how it looks like on the lips, but this is so beautiful too. Okay, so that is the Grand Ball. Now, I'm going to give you a swatch right beside this um, Selage so you guys can compare. But it's definitely a beautiful one. Like I said, it just has a little bit of that pink, but it's still a warm color and it's matte finish. I mean, they're all beautiful. That's why, you guys, I sit here today and show you these shades because I definitely think that, you know, if you don't have these shades yet, you should have it on your lipstick because it's something that will save you a lot of time if you don't know what you're looking for or if you don't know what you wanted to wear that day. This is something that you can go and just wear it, you know. And this, definitely, this shade is beautiful. Like I said, it has a little bit of the orange, a little bit of pink, a little bit of brown. So if we are like a similar kind of skin tone, this is going to look good on you too. So take a look at that. And then here's the swatch right here in case you're lost. <laughs> okay, and again, take a look at it. And let's jump into our last shade so the last shade that i have for you guys of course we cannot drop the shade 999 and i do have two finish for you guys so i have the rouge dior 999 in matte finish and i do have also in velvet finish so my personal favorite is velvet but a lot of you guys i know you're familiar with just the matte finish i wanted to put on the velvet because it's my favorite one, but they're the same color. It's just a different finish. If you feel like you want more of a velvety look, then go for the velvet. If you want just like a matte creamy finish, go for the matte one. So let's try this on. And that is the 999 shade in velvet finish. What do you guys think? I know you're gonna say like, oh my god, that's a beautiful red. Of course, we all know that it's Dior 999. Everybody knows it. So it's just a velvet finish and the matte finish. So I'm gonna give you a swatch of the velvet. So that's how it looks like there. So those are all the swatches that we did from our best Dior lipstick that you definitely should try. So I'm going to explain to you a bit of difference between the matte finish and the velvet like I mentioned earlier. This velvet just looks so plumpy and a little bit more supple on the lips and the matte finish is like a matte creamy with just a tiny bit of shine into it. So if you definitely want no shine at all and also the velvet I feel like it's it's showing a lot more color than the matte because there's no shine. I mean when we talk about matte, they definitely should not shine, but to me, the creaminess into it, it just shows a little bit of that sort of shine. I shouldn't say shine, I should just say creamy, <laughs> so if that makes sense. But yeah, Velvet is my favorite um, finish from 999. So take a look at one more time again, and that is the swatch, all of the colors that we tried today. So. So I hope you guys find this video useful and if you are looking for the shade that you like from this line, I would definitely recommend the shades because they are beautiful. It depends on what you like, but this red is just stunning as well. I just like it so much. I think that's everything for me today, guys. So I hope that you enjoyed the video. If you did, please give it a big thumbs up. Also, don't forget to subscribe my channel if you haven't yet. And I will see you on my next one. Bye, guys.